Hey everybody and welcome back to White Wolf of Icicle Creek. We are here at the reception area right now. We just made a bunch of phone calls and I think I'm going to continue looking around. Wait a minute, did we go through here? There's a door here. Oh right, there's a, a basement, right? Like a, a basement area. I guess this is like a storage area because Ollie said he'd be here, right? That's not Ollie, that looks like the ski dude. He's even wearing his ski outfit. Oh no. Uh are you Yanni Box Dyer? Forgive my disgust, but I do not like being lied to. Lied? Sandal said there would be no more guests to make noise at all hours and disturb my training. Yet what stands before me? A new guest. No, no, I'm not a guest. I'm Nancy Drew, the new maid, and the new cook. Forgive me. Allow me to start over. I am Yanni Vox Dyer. I am here to train for the Eastern European Cross Country Championship. I spend my days doing interval work, drills, and isometric exercises. I follow a strict program, one painstakingly designed by a team of the best coaches in Fredonia. In fact, under no circumstances are you to use your key to let anyone into my room. My competitors are constantly spying on me, trying to steal my techniques. I don't know, that kind of sounds a little paranoid. Especially in light of what we've been reading about you. You think someone's spying on you way out here? One can never be too careful, so know this. If anything is missing or so much as out of place in my room, you can expect a visit from me. And it will not be a pleasant one. Okay, so note to self, when we go snooping in his room, we gotta make sure to put everything back exactly. Have you ever seen the wolf while you were out training? No, for which I'm very grateful. In my country, in Fredonia, it is said that the gaze of the wolf will make you go blind. That's pretty extreme. Really? They are creatures of infinite evil, and that is all I'm going to say on the matter. I don't know, I think wolves are pretty cool. I hear that a major cross-country skiing competition may be held in this area in a couple of years. This is very true. It will rival the Olympics. Could that be the real reason you came here to train? As long as I have to train, why not train in the place where I must eventually put that training to use? As we say in Fredonia, I am simply milking two goats with one bucket. Besides, my competitors will stop at nothing to defeat me. I am forced to seek out and exploit every possible advantage open to me. I take no pride in some of the things I've done to bring victory to my country, but I have no choice. He's doing it for country. That's all for now. Come back anytime. Alright, so at least he's welcoming us back anytime. Oh, there's the sauna there. Can we go in? This is so invigorating. Yeah, it feels good. I mean, not that I can actually feel it. But if Nancy says it's invigorating, then I'll say it's invigorating too. Alright. Oh, there's Ollie here. Need something? You look busy. What are you making? I'm building something that's gonna solve all our problems. Oh? A wolf trap. One that'll finish off that thing out there once and for all. You think the wolf is causing the accidents? What? Not a doubt in my mind. Everything was A-OK -okay till it showed up and started howling. It's bad luck. And something's protecting it. Something unnatural. Well, that sounds mysterious. Why do you say that? Yesterday, I went looking for it. I tracked it, finally found it, sitting across the creek, not 20 yards away from me, just staring at me. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. Easiest shot I've ever taken in my life. And I missed. So I fired again, and I missed, and then I missed again, and again. And all the while, it just sat there staring until finally it just stood up, walked toward the brush just as calm as could be and disappeared. Hmm. Wild animals just don't act like that, and I just don't miss like that. There's something real weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I get rid of it. So maybe we should just find something else to jaw about. You met my little girl yet? Not yet. No, but you mentioned that her name is Freddy? Yep. Spends most of her time outside. She built herself a little snow fort. Just sits out there waiting for somebody to go by so she can pick a snowball fight with them. I keep asking her how she manages to stay warm all day, but she won't tell me. Says she's got a secret weapon. Yeah, she's something. 
Apparently she likes to play the Snow Princess game. How long have you worked for Chantal? About a year and a half. I was her first hire. Best hire, too. I could run this place single-handed if I had to, just like I'm doing now. The first time I talked to Chantal, she mentioned you used to be a rancher. Do you miss ranching? Yeah, a little. Tough life, though. Owned my own spread about 15 years ago. Well, bank owned most of it. And after two bad winters and one bone-dry summer, bank owned all of it. Oh. But I've learned a whole lot since then, but I could make it work now. Just need to find the right property, get my hands on enough cash to make a down payment, that's all. This guy should be Tex from uh, Shadow Ranch. Does your wife, Freddy's mom, does she live here too? In the summer she does, but in the winter she goes south. See, she's got this nerve condition that makes her real sensitive to cold. Freddy'd like to go with her, but until Chantal stops putting off giving me that raise she promised me, sending Freddy south too is out of the question. How do you explain what happened to Carl Jenkins, the former guest who slipped on the stairs and broke his leg? Can't explain it. One minute those stairs were clear and dry, next minute they're slick with ass and he's lying at the bottom of them. The wolf was to blame. Could a broken pipe or something have been to blame? This place hasn't had so much as a leaky faucet since I came aboard. I keep everything screwed down tight and running right. You ask me, somebody asked those stairs down on purpose. Because it wasn't nothing I did, no sir. No, sir. I'd better get back upstairs. Keep me posted. Yeah, it's looking more and more like somebody is sabotaging this place. And maybe somebody sabotaged his rifle. Like, maybe the scope was messed with or something. I mean, that's possible, right? Alright, time to make some lunch. Let's go in the kitchen. Alright, what do we got here? Use the frying pans only for quesadillas and omelets. Alright. Breakfast, lunch, okay, griddle, has hamburger patties, and then I put the f patty on the bun first, and then add extra ingredients. Uh, put the tortilla for quesadillas in a frying pan, never on the griddle. Remove the quesadilla from the pan when it has been lightly browned. Okay. Okay, so I guess we're doing burgers? Or, what are we doing here? Oh, there's stuff. One quesadilla. Lou. Okay. So we put one quesadilla on the frying pan. We've got Guadalupe wants another quesadilla. Whoa! Oh my goodness, that's. Oh, 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 stop! Ah! I didn't know they would be that fast. I thought this was going to take a while. Like, you know, this was like overcooked or something. You guys have played that game, right? Overcooked. A fun game. Okay. Uh, where do I put these? No. Stop. Ah, no. I want to get it out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we got to figure out exactly how to do this. So they're put on here, but where do I put them after they're done? That's the question. Okay, I can, I can put them back. Okay. Where do I put them now, though? What? Ah, I can't do anything. What are you, Nancy? A cook or an arsonist? <laughs> oh, man. We're going to drive Ollie nuts here, aren't we? Okay, let's just do one at a time. Let's just do one at a time. I feel like I need to put them down there. But I don't see how... What do I do here? Oh, now the, the thing is... I didn't mean to get ketchup. Okay. Let's just read this again. Alright. Never on the griddle. Remove it from the pan. So do I just drag it up here to the thing? Because that's the case. That's easy. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so order complete. Order up. Great. All right, another quesadilla. This one's for Bill. The good news is that there's a limited number of people, so this is not overcooked. This is fairly simple. Order up. And we don't have to worry about washing dishes, which is nice. Oh, we got hamburger here for Yanni. So let's see. Let's take a burger patty. I'm assuming that's what this is. Uh, or is it? 
Where's the... Where's the non-pan... Hang on. One hamburger, one quesadilla, and one quesadilla. Okay, for Freddy. Where's the, the griddle thing? Because it's the frying pan, right? I I don't know where... The, or is this the griddle? Oh, okay. I feel like putting two at one time is a bad idea. Alright, I'm going to wait just to be playing it safe. Okay, there we go. Whoop. Why is it not... That's strange. Oh, I have to put it here first on the bun. Right. Alright, let's do that again. This time we'll do one at a time. Okay, I, I think I'm getting this. It's just a matter of knowing what the right steps are. Come on, burger. Let's cook. There you go. Alright, put you on the bun. And let's put you up there. And can I put stuff on it? So he wanted two... Wait, did we just erase what we did? We did. Okay, so we have to put all the we have to put the meat and then put all the stuff. Okay. So there really is an order to this. I wish the order wasn't quite so finicky, but I mean it is what it is, I guess. So now that we know that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put two at one time. Okay, there we go. Then this one should be done. Come on. There we go. Alright, so Yanni. Yanni has two cheeses, two lettuce. Tomato, onion, mustard, ketchup. Okay. Two cheeses. Two lettuce. Tomato. Wait. Onion, mustard, ketchup. Okay. Mustard. And some ketchup. There we go. And that should be good. Alright. Alright. Good, alright, so now this next one has one cheese, one lettuce, two pickles, and then everything else. So this is for Mr. Ollie. He likes his pickles, I guess. Alright, so this should be it. There we go, excellent. Alright, so now we got Lou. He just wants one quesadilla. Alright, that's real easy. So I want to say that there is a Wii version of this game, and in that, you actually had to like use the Wii mode to flip quesadillas and stuff over. Alright, and then we got one quesadilla and one hamburger? Good grief, Freddy. There we go. Alright, so there's the quesadilla part. Now for the burger part. So let's see what she's got. She's got two cheeses, two lettuce, and two onions. Wow. This girl can eat a lot of stuff. She sounds like a little kid, too. Alright, so make sure I read it correctly. Yep, two cheeses, two lettuces, and two onions. Alright, pickles, tomato, got some mustard, and ketchup. Alright, so that should be it. Alright, that's one big meal. Cool, alright, so we're done with the kitchen for now. So I guess dinner will be served at 5 if I'm not mistaken. So we got time to explore and do some things. Are the guys back here yet? Oh, they're gone. Alright, so I guess we can't really play that game that they were playing. As long as it's not time to cook, I might as well stay out of the kitchen. Good idea. Alright, so we don't have to go back there for a little while. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go outside, since the weather is only in the greenish yellowish zone. And it looks like we've got a bar up here. Maybe that is a health bar. So that goes to Trapper Dance Needle. That's an exit sign. I better not follow this trail until I know for sure where it goes. Oh, okay. 
So Nancy's not going to go anywhere that she doesn't know the destination to. Skating pond. Okay, we need to go there to um, clean everything up. So let's do that. Let's go to the skating pond. I don't know how much... Okay, that didn't exert ourselves too much. So we'll do some shoveling here. Guess I better get this pond shoveled off. All right, so let's figure out where. So we use the shovel. All right, so that's zero, so that's good. So these are zeros. Okay, one. Okay. Oh, that's one. So it's probably gonna be that. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, I'm just gonna go on here while we're at zero and just get all the zeros in place this pond is going to be kind of interesting to skate on All right. I'm assuming that if you get one wrong then you get a death sequence or maybe something close to a death sequence alright so one Okay, so let's let's go to the one that's really bad. Like this right here. Is this three? I think this is three. So we know it's gotta be these three right here. Because there's really nothing else. Like these two are fine, so it's gotta be these. Alright, so this right here is only two. So this one has gotta be okay. So we can shovel that part off. Okay. This one here is one, which means that should be fine. Okay, so that's good. I think we've gotten those so out of the out of the way at least. So we don't know exactly where the second one here of this this surrounding area is. All right, let's continue onward here. So this one right here, this one indicates two as well. Oh wait a minute, these these are fine. So I can I can go in a complete circle with these. Okay, that, that definitely helps. That's good. Okay, so this has gotta be a cone right there. And well actually the all three of these have gotta be cones. Okay, so that means that this is probably gonna be a cone as well. Alright, so that's that's good. That's that's good. So at this point, we got to figure out where exactly. Oh wait a minute! These two have to be cones by default because that's a two, which means that both of these are safe. Oh, no, it's not. Oops. Wait, this is two, right? And this. Are is this inaccurate? Because this is one, and every other one here is okay except that. And then this one is two, and all of these are okay, so by, dis by default, it has to be... How in the world does that work? Because this is two. This is two, right? And these are, these are all fine. Oh wait, is there an extra space? There's an extra space. Okay, my bad. Okay, I did not know that. Okay. That explains a lot actually. Okay, so this is prob one of these is probably wrong. Can I remove a Yeah, I can remove a cone. Okay. Now that we know that, I think we can safely assume that this is okay then because that is not so we need to put a cone on that. So I wonder if there's like a limit on how many you can get wrong before it's like a death sequence or you're determined a bad s snow shoveler or something. Okay, so this is fine. This is fine. This is fine even. Okay, so these are all zeros, which is good. All right, good. So, seems like we're doing all right here. So it looks like the edge of the pond is mainly okay. 
Yeah, the edge of the pond looks pretty safe. Oh, that's not, though. But we know what that is. That's that one. Okay, so I'm assuming this is not safe. That's That's got to be a cone. Okay, so that's good. We got that part at least. Alright, that's Danger Town there. Alright, we're doing okay. We're doing alright. So this whole row can be cleared up since there are zeros in the row below it. Alright, so this is a zero, which means that all these are safe. All those are safe, all these are safe. Alright. And this by extension is safe, these by extension are safe, and these are. Alright, so that helps immensely. So this has got to be a cone. This has got to be a cone. So is that, and probably this too, based on what we know so far. Yeah, because this is pointing to that, that's pointing there. Okay, okay, this is definitely getting more doable. So there's one of these that's not safe. Uh, well, actually, wait, that's not safe because of this. Because all of these are. So that's, that's good, at least we figured that one out. So by extension, that means this must be safe. Oh, whoa, okay, that's got a lot of unsafe ones surrounding it. Okay, um, this, I don't know what else to do here. Hmm, this is a little uncertain. Oh, wait, this has to be all cones, because all the other things are safe, and that's a three. Okay, that helps a little bit. Definitely helps a little bit. So that means this is... Oh. So is that a 4? I think that's a 4. That seems to be the same color, which means these are all, all okay. Oh, and these are all okay too, then. Okay, so that means that these here... Does this spell something? I think this spells something. That looks like a Y... Okay. Does it spell cry, like cry wolf? Because that would be kind of interesting if it did. Don't know what that would mean, but it would be kind of interesting if it did. Okay, so I think the other cones are probably going to go in here if this theory is sound. Except, wait a minute, this says there are t Wait a minute. This looks symmetrical. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to assume that there are two here. So there, that makes a C. Which means that these are fine, I guess. Yes. There we go. Alright, so this has three next to it, which means it's got to be these three. And this has two, which means that this has got to be filled in. Okay, so we only have two left, and I think it's probably here and here. I, I'd be I'd be willing to bet that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is unsafe. Yeah, because this right here... I don't know, I feel like this is a kind of a guessing game, unless you knew that this spelled something. Because this could be either this or this, this one right here. And then this one could be, well, any of these. But then we've got the matter of this, so... Wait, one of them does have to be this, because of this square. So there is that. And then that takes care of that one, so that's definitely safe. And then this one is three, so it's got to be this one. There you go. That ought to do it. Wait a second. Those look like wolf tracks. Maybe I should find out where they go. Alright. Let's totally go off and follow wolf tracks. Even though that's probably not good for our health. What is this? Is this the... That must be Trapper Dan's needle. Okay, I was wondering about that. 
Okay. What's this doing here? Strange. It's halfway in and halfway out. This thing must open up somehow. Ooh. Can I get that? I guess not. Alright, so we can go this way. There's two paths. And I think I want to go this way, because this is where the wolf tracks go. Right? This doesn't go back, does it? Yeah, this is definitely different. Oh, this is Chicken Ridge. We saw this on the map in the first video. Alright, let's go. Oh! Oh no. Sounded like an explosion. Yeah. Well, that's not good. What's that noise? It's a wolf. <gasps> oh shoot. Is that a death sequence? Oh no, we're alive. I'm buried in snow. I got to dig myself out before I run out of air. Uh-oh. I'll never make it. I can barely breathe. Uh, what do we do, guys? Someone's up there. Help! I'm down here, right under you. Can you hear me? Help! I can't breathe. I think they heard us. They heard me. Thank goodness. All right. Oh, hey, Wolf. Easy. It's okay. I'm not real happy about the situation either. Uh, is it safe to get out? It's gone, but thanks to that hole it dug, I can breathe again. Now, if I can just pull myself out. Okay, we made it. Okay, wow. Back to Chicken Ridge and risk getting caught in another avalanche? I don't think so. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Let's get out of here. That was not really what we wanted to go there for. At least we know that the uh, wolf seems to hang out at Chicken Ridge, though, so that's one mystery solved. I'm kind of curious, though. If we go the other route, does that take us back to that... Uh, this minute. must have been made by the explosion I heard. This is new. A fossil. Cool. Oh. That's awesome. Fossils are awesome. What kind of rocks those are. Yeah. Are they Ignatius rocks? Is it Ignatius? I, I, I never... I've always gotten that word mixed up with like another word. There's sedimentary... I think it's Ignatius, right? And then metamorphic... Does this go back to the pond or somewhere else? I'm kind of confused. Wait, is this the needle area? Yeah. Yeah, this is the needle area. So did we come from here? I thought this might lead us back to that area near the lodge that said to Trapper Dan's needle. It does. Okay. I think this is it. Alright, so hopefully we won't have to shovel the pond again. Let's look around out here. There's a snowmobile. Can we use it? Doesn't look like we can. Thanks for visiting. We cannot go that way. What about here? I not follow this trail until I know for sure where it goes. Oh, that's right. It's this trail. Alright, so I think... What's there? Oh, this is new. Huh, who goes there? Uh, Nancy Drew? Oh, it's Freddy. Nancy Drew shall not pass unless and until she proves herself worthy. And how does she do that? By hitting a snow princess ten times. Snowballs only, no ice balls. What are ice balls? Snowballs made of ice. If you get hit with one, it can knock you out. So don't throw it or I'll tell my dad. You must be Ollie's daughter, Freddy. Yeah. All right. Okay. How do we duck? Like, can we... Okay. Oh, you do it before. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. <laughs> There's something really satisfying about this. It's Wacka Freddy. Alright. 
What a relief that is. All right, Icicle Lake. Let's go see what Icicle Lake's all about. Oh, it's that fishing shack, the one that uh, Bill was mentioning, right? Anything interesting in here? A nice fishing shack. A nice warm one at that. Ooh, we got our health meter refilled. That's nice. There's the fishing hole. Uh, can we... I'm confused by what we're trying to do here. Are we actually trying to get a fish? Oh, there's a mine. A mine? Oops. That can't be good. Yeah. That was a bad idea. Oh, it immediately second chances you. Okay, that's nice. All right, I'm not going to do anything there until I know that we need to actually fish for something. Because right now, we haven't been told to do that by anybody, so I'm assuming we'll probably have to do that for somebody later. But I do want to see if there is anything here that we can pick up that's worth taking with us. Wait. Oh, that just... There we go. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is. That's nothing. More traffic cones, though. Presumably for the... Uh, the skating pond, or maybe there's something here on the lake that needs to be marked for thin ice. Alright, I'm probably going to wrap it up here pretty soon, because we've been going on for a little while. But I want to just make sure I cover all the outdoorsy stuff we can do right now. And Oh, this is the bunkhouse. The face from a clock, it's all melted. Part of the timing device that was used to trigger the bomb that blew up the bunkhouse, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. No, oh, it doesn't seem like we can do anything here. Wow, we used up a lot of health to walk to Ice School Lake. Oh, we have to do this again? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Catch her before she can pelt us with a snowball. <laughs> I like all those sounds. I don't know who they got to play Freddy. Maybe it was one of the designer's kids. But she sounds like a real kid, which I really like. Alright. Okay. I'm curious to know what this uh, leads to, but it doesn't look like I can actually go up that. And I'm wondering if those are the stairs that we heard about earlier, the ones that... Uh, that that Carl guy slipped on. I'd be curious to find that out. Alright, so that was a nice excursion. Um, can we go over... I guess we can only go through here. Much better. It was really cold. Alright, so that's pretty much all we can see right now over there. Do we have a journal in this game? It looks like we do. Oh, we can... we actually have different sections. That's nice. Okay, so this is general observation stuff. These are the suspects. Is Freddy a suspect? Wow. Nancy is taking no prisoners here. Alright. I'm glad they've divided this up. And phone numbers. Oh, we can call Ned and... We can call a bunch of people here that aren't on that, that post-it note. So I think I might actually do that next time. I'll have to make sure I don't miss dinner, but... I think we're... Oh, here are the guys here. You know what? I'll talk to the guys in the next video. So, until then, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side.